okay start hello friends welcome to dr deepak uppal's biology today we'll discuss the topic hepatopancreatic duct system a student is familiar with the organs liver and pancreas but while studying the anatomy of digestive system one gets often confused trying to remember how these glands are connected to the alimentary canal via duct system today we will explore the same in this diagram we can see liver pancreas gall bladder duct system a duct system means how the ducts or channels of these organs are interconnected and with the duodenum of alimentary canal we will have a brief overview of the organs as well while discussing the duct system liver liver is the largest gland of human body liver lies in the upper part of abdominal cavity just beneath the diaphragm liver has two lobes the large right lobe and a small left lobe the right lobe is further divided into quadrate and caudate lobe the right and the left lobes of the liver are divided by a flap of peritoneum known as falciform ligament peritoneum will be discussed in coming videos ducts of liver each lobe has one duct associated with it right and left hepatic ducts emerge from the right and left lobe of the liver respectively after a short course the hepatic ducts unite to form the common hepatic duct the common hepatic duct is joined by cystic duct from the gall bladder to form the bile duct bile duct is joined by the main pancreatic duct and together they open into a small ampulla known as the ampulla of waiter an ampulla is a sac like enlargement of the duct ampulla opens into the lumen of the duodenum by means of a small papilla known as major duodenal papilla a papilla is a protuberance or a raised surface terminal parts of both ducts and the ampulla are surrounded by circular muscle known as sphincter of hepatopancreatic ampulla also known as sphincter of odi another group of circular muscles surround the opening of bile duct before it joins the main pancreatic duct it is known as sphincter of boyden pancreas pancreas has both exocrine and endocrine parts the endocrine part of pancreas has pancreatic islets or the islets of langerhans these are the regions which contain endocrine cells these cells secrete primarily two hormones insulin and glucagon which are responsible for glucose levels in the blood now coming to the exocrine part head of the pancreas is disc shaped and lies within the concavity of the duodenum main duct of pancreas begins in the tail and runs the length of the gland receiving branches main duct along with the bile duct join and immediately open into the duodenum on the major duodenal papilla an accessory duct of pancreas drain upper part of head of the pancreas then opens into duodenum on the minor duodenal papilla above the main duct 
a papilla is a small raised protuberance functioning of hepatopancreatic duct system the only main function of this duct system is to transfer digestive juices to the alimentary canal from liver and pancreas there can be two instances number 1 when the digestion is not happening or we have not taken any food then bile produced by the liver gets stored and concentrated in the gall bladder pancreatic juice remains in the pancreatic acini sphincters of the duct system remain closed second instance when the food fatty and proteinaceous enters the duodenum the mucosa or the wall of the duodenum releases cholecystokinin pancreatinin hormone it causes gall bladder to contract and release the bile sphincters such as sphincter of audi relax and open it also causes release of pancreatic juice finally all juices enter the duodenum through sphincter of audi and accessory pancreatic duct and cause digestion of food thank you for watching the video stay tuned for more videos do subscribe to the channel and share if you like the video thank you